sunlight glints off the golden roofs of temples that rise above the bustling city of Rome. Seven hills, each crowned with grand structures, form the heart of a burgeoning empire. Here, amidst the teeming crowds of toga-clad citizens and foreign dignitaries, the fate of nations is decided in the echoing halls of the Senate House, while gladiatorial combat unfolds in the shadow of the mighty Colosseum. This is ancient Rome, a vibrant and often brutal world, where power, glory, and intrigue intertwine in a captivating tapestry of history. Now, we are diving deep into the fascinating life of Julius Caesar, a man who went from Roman aristocrat to military genius, powerful politician, and ultimately, a victim of assassination. His life is full of battles, betrayal, and a legacy that continues to this day. Born into a noble Roman family around 100 BCE, Caesar displayed ambition and leadership qualities from a young age. He climbed the political ladder, holding various offices and forming strategic alliances with Pompey the Great and Marcus Licinius Crassus. This alliance helped Caesar secure political and military power. He then embarked on a series of daring military campaigns, most notably the Gallic Wars, which lasted for eight long years. Caesar proved himself a brilliant strategist, conquering vast territories in Gaul, modern-day France and Belgium. These victories brought immense wealth and resources to Rome, but also made Caesar a superstar among the Roman people. However, back in Rome, the Senate grew wary of his rising popularity and military might. Caesar eventually returned to Rome, but tensions with the Senate escalated. The Senate ordered him to disband his army, fearing he would use it to seize control of Rome. Caesar, however, saw this as an attempt to strip him of his power and legacy. In a bold move, he crossed the Rubicon River, the boundary between Gaul and Italy, with his army, defying the Senate's orders. This act sparked a brutal civil war between Caesar and Pompey. Caesar emerged victorious, solidifying his dominance in Rome. He was appointed dictator, a position traditionally held for short periods in times of crisis. However, Caesar held onto the title for life, which fueled fears that he aspired to become king and dismantle the Roman Republic. Despite the political turmoil, Caesar wasn't all about power grabs. He was also a reformer. He introduced the Julian calendar, which we still use with modifications today. He addressed social issues through public works programs and streamlined the legal system. These reforms aimed to improve Roman society for the better. Caesar's reign was cut short. On the Ides of March, 44 BCE, a group of senators, led by Marcus Junius Brutus, assassinated Caesar in the Senate House. They feared his growing power and believed they were saving the Republic. This act of violence backfired. Instead of restoring the Republic, it plunged Rome into further civil war. Ultimately, Caesar's adopted son, Augustus, rose to power and established the Roman Empire. Julius Caesar's life and death were pivotal moments in Roman history. He was a complex figure, a brilliant leader, a ruthless conqueror, and a reformer. His legacy continues to be debated, but there's no denying his lasting impact on warfare, government, and even how we measure time. That is all we have for Julius Caesar today. To help us pick the next epic journey, let us know in the comments what period or figure you would love to see us tackle next. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more historical adventures delivered straight to your feed. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you on the next one.